Alrighty, the streak is at seven. We have Ice Tears, we have Whipworm, and we have Decap Attack. Or Dad's Key, depending. I think I'm gonna take Dad's Key. I really like Decap Attack. Like, really, really like Decap Attack. But I think Dad's Key is overall just a higher value item. I think. Now, our damage is really good, and our tier rate is really sucky. So this is a weird one, because that would make decap attack quite a bit better. But again, I think getting access to basically any uh, secret room and super secret room trumps the bit of damage that decap attack does. So, oh. It might not trump the damage that the blue candle does, though. The only thing is that I would have to blow up the donation machine really early, and I'm not sure I'm willing to do that. Because, once again, the donation machine is now a resource that I need to manage over the course of my streak. All this is free. Hey everyone, today's random shoutout of the day goes to Leontin B. Thank you so much for being a member to the channel. If you too wish to become a member to the channel, there is a link in the video description. Also, if you want to support the channel for free, as of the making of this video, we are 66 subscribers away from 4,000. So let's get there by the end of the week, everyone. Thank you so much for your insane support over the last two weeks. And hit that sub button. Enjoy the rest of the video. Full heart. If I can help it. There we go. Uh, okay, this could give me the money necessary to buy that candle. Or it could give me more keys, sure. And more bombs. I mean, that's not bad. That's not what I was hoping for. Uh, no. Not about to pop a bad trip here and lose the streak due to it. I also want to take the time again to apologize for... Uh, well... From stream stream viewers perspective for that horrible day two days ago from YouTube perspective it was last video it was I, I don't know something something broke in me that day that made me massively almost throw that run I don't like how the headless horseman could be behind that door and just immediately end my run why do I feel like it's the headless horseman I'm kind of up in my own head now about this, but I, I... Somehow I feel like the Headless Horseman is behind that door. Eh, you know what? I'm gonna get the candle. We need, like, a training arc. No, we don't. I'll go for it. We've had a good run with the machine recently. The machine has been doing good deeds. With the music and the running. I'll play the Rocky theme in the background or something. Decaf attack. That is not the Headless Horseman, notably. That is, in fact, a significantly easier boss than the Headless Horseman. Get a torn photo. What do you mean, toss? What did I toss just now? Uh oh. That was such a convenient candle use. Hey, you guys want to see a quarter? Because if you do, you need to go to a different stream. Because there ain't one here. Ah! Fighter. Kinda, kinda turned into an elo, 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 into a person that can't speak. Kind of turned into an elemental god here in this run, right off the bat. Does that do anything? Oh yeah, it does actually make them quite a bit better. Turned into an elemental god here with ice and fire attacks right off the bat. That's pretty nifty. And you know what? The spectral from the pupula duplex not too broken up about that one either. Uh, there was a triple fool's go down there, wasn't there? Oh, toss because of Rocky theme? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like... 
I'd be getting DMCA'd pretty quickly. If I were to use that. Did you see Nintendo Music app? That's some pretty good features. There's a Nintendo Music app. Hey, it's another candle. Let me despawn these two guys. Dude, two candles in one run. And the, the good ones, too. We skipped over the mediocre candle. I don't want to call it a bad candle because it's not a bad candle, but it's mediocre. Switch online members only. Well, we have Switch online, so... I guess I'm going to have to look that up. That's a bit late. I love it when I get a golden key after entering the store and the item room. That's my favorite. Oh, I'm bad. How did you not die? To my incredible candle ship. All right, that was nice. Uh, not gonna go in there with this amount of HP, so let's go. You can do fuck all on Switch without Switch Online. You can play video games. I wouldn't necessarily call that fuck all on my entertainment system. On my on my gaming system, rather. Oops. Paid Android slash iOS app without Switch Online, which I thought they'd do. Blue Candle is so nice when you know how to use it. I feel like you could make that point about most items. to me how these frozen dudes can't like the the frozen things can't slide over over these these holes like it makes sense but at the same time how does it make sense that they just break on it like they hit a wall instead of them just falling down and not doing their thing I priestess, that's a free boss kill. I'm not going for that chest, it's spooky. Okay, spectral a bit hurtful there, not gonna lie. What's in here? Pointy rib, I like that, but I feel like we could have had better dude <laughs> triple candle run <laughs> all right then if there was a candle transformation this wouldn't be it because i didn't touch the candle wax man transformation when i like that i need to find backpack uh, too bad that's a shop item, huh? But I see your point. 
Oh yeah, I'm just yeeting you out of here. Angel room? Uh, I'm assuming we're taking Sacred I'm a really big fan of Dead Dove, but I don't see how I'm not taking Sacred Heart at home here. All right, let's go. AMA, what's your plan on Halloween since you don't do Halloween? You know, it's funny because usually on the 31st, we're invited to two separate birthdays. One of a close friend of ours and one my uncle's, who's also my godfather. And this year, neither of them are happening because said uncle... Uh, there, there's a bit of family sickness involved that leads to him not celebrating his birthday today. And that friend isn't celebrating because he's turning 40 next year and he wants to go big next year. So he's just taking this year off. So um, this year we're going to do my favorite thing, which is staying at home. <laughs> we're probably going to grind a bit of Pokemon Go later and then play some Mario Party Jamboree because we have that since Tuesday. And that's my entire plan for Halloween. Suicide King. Let me just drop that bad boy. <laughs> uh, I want to go for the item room in the store. Press control. I did. I pressed and held control and it ended up dropping the Suicide King. Of diamonds, good card. Uh, I'm gonna buy that. If we get piercing, this immaculate heart is a banger. Piercing kind of makes everything a banger, but I see your point. It's like getting, uh, which is the astro sign that gives you a ring of tears? Saturnus? It's like getting Saturnus and, and, um, and piercing. It just shreds everything. Leech. I like the leech. Miss and VTuber emotes name a more iconic duo. Uh, magic wash. The dream is still not realized. I'm gonna... There's only one... Actually, no, this is caves. I want the money. There's two more stores coming. Okay, we gotta hurry a bit up, but I think overall we're in a pretty good spot. Oh, look, my favorite Isaac streamer. I think you were in the wrong chat. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Staying away from that card. It's Peep! And he just smacked me in the face. Okay, we got Stye. We get another Devil Deal, except this time my health is much better. I'll take a Ouija board. The Spectral obviously does nothing, but the tier rate is nice. Hey, Yazillo, thank you for 96 months of support. Not 69, but 96. But I still appreciate it very much. Magician is a great card. We're probably going to be using that in the boss rush.
That's exactly eight years. Speak if true. I usually watch YouTube videos. I, I thought I recognized your name. Glad you made it here. Always nice to see when the YouTube folks can make it make it on here. and a half minutes what i didn't see that guy come out of the ground so i'm blind apparently uh no oh well, i gotta show up eventually right i have pretty good range which is very useful against greed so i'm not too broken up i'm also not gonna take more than this because none of these pennies were lucky and I am a bit under time pressure at this point. And here you can see he plays just as bad live as he does on YouTube. And it's true, but you didn't have to uh, murder me like that on Halloween. Ah! Okay, there's a curse room, which I've visited a grand total of zero off in this run, but I felt like I never had the HP to do so. Although this one, this is my curse room. Because it's free! And of course, that's the quality of a free curse room. I'll grab that and I'll blow up this guy or not because I missed him. Ah, faster! There we go. Yo, that was a sick room clear, if I may say so myself. 2015 probs would have definitely been proud of that one. Another one? Another one. Not a beast run, so we're not gonna have to look for the X marks to spot. Okay, that's a penny. Garbage. Like that one commander who uh, always wants to convince me to take that thing. Ah! Oh! It's the Q4 trinket. Thanks, blue candle. Okay, that's max tier raid. I don't think I have the balls to take the pentagram here. Props, do you recognize me from YouTube? I watched like 200 vids. You should definitely know me since I never comment. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, now that you mention it, yeah, I think I've seen you lurk somewhere in the background. a lot of items hold up <laughs> oh i don't have a bomb dude i need that fate where all my bombs go does freezing not activate sigil oh yeah apparently not that's tragic wow that's an anti-synergy if i've ever seen one. Oh no drop me a bomb at least so i can get the thing uh-oh. 
This might be turning into another delirium run real quick. Yeah, if only I had flights to get to get the flight item. Don't be super greed. Thank you. I'll take a damage up. I'll also take that, even though there's like a very low chance I'm gonna go into the devil deal. I definitely don't have ba uh, have time to go back for fate. Come on, I got this. Former speedrunner at work. Former speedrunner at work, also blue candle. Okay, uh, this is a blue baby run, so we take this and we go in here. Easy peasy. Oh, what the? <laughs> wow! Hold up! <laughs> what, what's the play here? Uh... <laughs> Hold up. Uh... Hmm. Emo, emo, take all. I mean, if I could, I would. <laughs> Are there ones in the corner too? Nah, right? This was just the four here. Um, I have to say no Hemo after, but only if I don't take it. I mean, Hemo is probably the best one. I'm just, uh, dude, chocolate milk is such a comfort item for me. But Hemo is so great because of the tears down, ironically. Because I can use the, the cooldown phase to, to fire the candle. This just keeps me safe, which is also great. I'll take Hemo. But I won't say no Hemo, because that's just not true. Oh Jesus, look at that tier rate. Okay, that was definitely the correct play. I didn't think we'd be firing that fast. I, I definitely lost a bit of respect for the, the freeze effect. Now that I know that it stops the quality for Trinket. We wanted a training arc. What do you mean we? You're the only one that asked for it so far. It's the Headless Horseman, except in a controlled environment. Now, the good news is the Sigil does work here, because bosses can't get frozen. So they actually die. And the best news is that Fistula means infinite shield. At least until Fistula is dead. Because Fistula is extremely good at dying in large quantities. I just wasted my one bomb because I wanted to make a chop this like smokes joke. But Chop ended up disliking Hemo Lacria tears way more. <laughs> the Husk and the Duga flies. Looks like the kind of boss rush I would craft. Yo, chat, which Binding of Isaac boss would you be most likely to invite to your birthday party? Mm. 
modded beast. The worst part about this is I've only seen that on YouTube thumbnails, but I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> Alright, I love the teleport, but not as much as the blue candle. Little horn, that's cool magic trick. That's actually an excellent point. There's still an enemy alive? Oh, there's the door, okay. There, there was like one dude alive, so... I can get the fate now. Oh, I could have, but then the the blue candle would have been lost because the exit would have closed. I think I'd rather have the blue candle than fate. Dingle. The fly guy, he just leaves if you don't interact with him. And he actually does a friendly wave at you too when you don't interact with him, so... I guess it's a win-win. He's happy, you're happy. Dingle to make everyone leave. I don't care about the money. Posting after you finish boss rush. Hey props, would you consider doing mausoleum when not on pace for boss rush for the 25 minute boss rush instead of 20 minutes? It's definitely a thought. Um, I don't think it's ever come up to a point where I felt like, oh my god, the Immaculate Heart Hemotier. <laughs> it's never come to a point where I was like, oh yeah, this is a viable option, but it's definitely something I have in the back of my head usually. What? What just exploded on me? Can I get that red heart in here? Oh yeah. Definitely not Bombino. I mean, that's fair. I still don't have a bomb. Hey, I have a bomb now. Oh, I actually didn't think it would be there. Oh, I see. That's why it was there. It was all an elaborate prank. Oops. There's also cat mode for beast. to getting a double charge on the candle so I'll just blow him up for a 92.5% devil deal chance the nail is that better than the candle at this point I'm gonna think about that let me see what's in here guppy's eye and ocular rift I don't really care about the eye, but I do care about the Polaroid proc, and I do have a nail outside. But I think I just take the rift here and try and build my HP, especially since I get to keep the bone heart. That's a big rift. <laughs> well, posting after French brother, what would you consider doing mausoleum? I, I already answered that. Why would you? What? All good.
Mr. Cheever, you have such a way with words. It took me like a minute and a half to explain that, and you just did it in like seven words or so. That's more than seven words, is it? Wrath of Laws! Thank you for the prime time. Appreciate it. Is a dot satanic Bible. Okay. Well, the good news is the rooms are going to get significantly harder. Uh, the bad news is the rooms are going to get significantly harder from now on. The good news is there's going to be a lot of bosses. Meaning the sigil is finally going to start doing some work. Man, those immaculate hard tiers do nothing other than confuse me. There's no way I can gauge where the hitbox of those tiers are. All the while firing, looking at the other enemies and stuff. Chariot. But the good news is, um, yeah, more more sigil procs. It's just neat. The sigil is OP. And if I were to make a trinket tier list, which I've been considering, I would definitely not only put sigil into the top tier, but it would actually have its own tier because it's just better than everything else. I actually sometimes wonder how that trinket made it into the game. Like, it's so ridiculous. Dang it. Hmm. I actually, hold up. I have spectral. Let's do that. That, that room was a bit rude, I felt. These guys are just rude, period. for money. Fight went a bit off the rails there for a second, but I think we're fine. Although I do have a bit of a hard time at times seeing where I am. Because of those tears circling me. But we're good. Okay. Let's hope our chest chests are good. I would be stoked. That's probably gonna kill me in combination combination with that Hemo and the Immaculate Heart. Is that just gonna one-shot every single room? Ooh, that's good. And that's one out of three bookworm, I guess. 
Okay, but it's funny. Yeah, unfortunately, we're not going for funny in these parts of Twitch. At least not when the streak is already at a whopping seven. Like, come on. No kidding, though. I, I would like to get a double digit streak again for, for a change. Because Eden Roulette sure has been kicking my butt recently. Another chariot. The nice thing is this chariot is actually quite significant because the pointy rib scales with our tier damage. And our tier damage is pretty high. This is why you will never make it big while wow, red in the fields. How's the 4K on YouTube coming along? Uh, I was actually recording a video earlier and as of right now, there's 71 people missing. So yeah, good point. If you're watching on Twitch or YouTube uh, and you haven't subbed to my YouTube yet, I would appreciate if you could do that. It's free and it makes me a happy man and it gets us closer to my arbitrarily set goal of 4,000. You guys have actually been nuts with the support on YouTube. We're already only one new member away from another emote slot too, and we've already unlocked two. <laughs> you guys are nuts. I did not think it would go that fast from 3k to 4k prompts. Yeah, people seem to enjoy my content. I don't, I don't really know why, but <laughs> I'm not going to argue with them. Oh boy. Oh boy. Bomb bag. Ah, it's lost. Hip. I would like to kill Sloth last for the card, but unfortunately with Hemo, I, I just don't have the choice sometimes, you know. Tomorrow starts and then... <laughs> oh boy. Dare you? I find the ice sound incredibly satisfying for some reason. You know, this is actually a very underrated but important aspect of vid a video game. I honestly believe that part of the reason Slay the Spire was so successful, I mean, aside from the fact that it's an excellent game, or rather, one of the things that make it such an excellent game is the sound effecting, right? Like that... Ooh, that very satisfying thwack sound it makes every time you play a strike on an enemy is definitely part of the reason. It's just more fun, you know, to play your cards when they make such satisfying sounds. The Rizigid room is probably too below me in that room.
Okay, interesting. I can hold the candle above my head while in unicorn form, but I can't throw the flame. So they are learned. You know, I feel like that ocular rift hasn't done a whole lot, but when it did something, boy oh boy. Boy howdy did it do something. Alright. I, you know, I was honestly worried about that run somewhere in between, like around end of Caves 2, start of Depths 1, but it was a solid one overall, GG.